This is Patrice Wendling reporting for Global Medical News Network. I'm speaking with Dr. Suzanne Basha. Doctor, what prompted you to compare staple versus suture closure techniques for cesarean delivery? As a resident, I noticed complications in wounds that trended to be in, the, in staple patients. And when I would ask why methods were used to close the skin, I received multiple different answers. Uh, in researching this in the literature, I found that there was no literature to support any of the explanations I was given. So I decided to do a study that would put that information out to the public. And what did you find in your study that was unique from other studies? Uh, I found that the wound complication rate, uh, specifically the wound separation rate, was approximately four times higher in patients who had their skin closed with staples when compared to those closed with subcuticular suture. Most previous other studies have looked more at cosmesis. Cosmesis right? and pain, yes. Why did you choose your particular aspect on wound closure? Wound separation is a, a problem to many new mothers and it requires extra physician visits. And it's inconvenient, it takes them away from their child, and I think it's a significant problem for new mothers. So that's why I chose that outcome. And based on your findings, would you recommend only suture closure for cesarean suture? Based on the protocol that we used, I would recommend sutures. However, there are many other studies that could try other protocols that may show an equivalent um, rate in terms of separation. What was your protocol? Um, to have the skin closed with stainless steel staples and to have steri strips placed after removal of the staples. However, the timing of the staple removal was at the discretion of the provider. We found that the vast majority of these were removed on day three or four postoperatively. Perhaps leaving them in longer may make a difference. Um, with the sutures, they were not removed. They dissolved on their own, therefore giving an increased uh, time period in which the closure was present. So maybe that is the reason for the difference. For Global Medical News Network, this is Patrice Wendling.